Hello, buongiorno. I've got a new printer. I've stuck with Epson. I did look at Canon's, but I just ended up sticking with the Epson because it's what I know. And it's the EcoTank. It's the ET8550 and it pretty much does everything my old printer did. It's A3+, plus, which my old printer was. It's six colours as opposed to nine. And yeah, every, you know, obviously A4. It's also got a, a scanner built in, which is, you know, handy. The only thing I don't think it does um, is my old printer would take a roller canvas on the back so you could print, you know, large format, but I never, ever used it. And look, that is what they say, 2,300 photos before you need to replace your ink, which is fantastic. If that works out to be true, well, then that is a massive, massive difference. Um, so, yeah, let's get on with setting it up and try this little new baby out and see what she does. <laughs> all plugged in step three select the printer setup method do you have a smart device yes hold down the plus button until it flashes then use your smart device to complete the rest of the process so this app will interactively walk you through your product setup nice get tap next on the screen make the following settings if a confirmation screen about location information is displayed Next. Which type of home screen do you want to use? Swipe and tap the cards at the bottom of the screen to display an overview or tap the tiled function. So which one do I want? I'll go with that one, I think. Use cards. Tap here to select a product. Set up, set up a new product. Let's get started. Continue. Okay, make sure your product is turned on. Turn this on. Ooh. Right, so next, searching for the product. Select the product to connect to. Nice. Am I sure I want to select it? Yes, please, or I wouldn't have picked it, would I? Ooh, setting up the printer from Epson Smart Panel. Do not turn the power off. Please wait, let's get ready for ink initialization. Continue. We will guide you step by step. Nice. Before we start, make sure to follow the rules. Sending information to the printer, please wait. Apparently when you do this for the first time, it does use up some ink in the setting up process, so we'll see how much ink it actually uses. You can now prepare the printer. Let's start with the ink, refer to the image below and open the scanner unit, then open the ink tank cover. So this is all our steps that we've got to follow.
tank has another line and when the ink reaches the line it automatically stops flowing from the bottle so don't worry <gasps> that is nice to know remove the black ink bottle from the package hold the bottle of ink ink bottle upright and twist the cap to remove it do not touch the top of the ink bottle Check the colour and the alignment and insert the ink bottle into the filling port. I have got to say that could not have been easier. Got a bit of ink left in each bottle. How easy was that? That was brilliant. Right, when you're done filling the ink tanks, check them all to be filled to the line, which they are. All of the ink tabs filled? Yes. Close the ink tank cover and the scanner unit. Be careful not to get your hands caught. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. I will be very careful. <laughs> all ink tanks filled yes let's start ink initialization Ooh. ink initialization is in progress seems i needed to be pressing this so proceed press ok for five seconds one two three four five 
Make sure all the colour inks are filled up on the upper line select start button to start ink charging. Do not load paper until initialization is complete. Start. Here we go. Seven minutes? So as you can hear, the ink is now initialising, seven minutes, but that could not have been more straightforward. About the same amount of ink in every bottle is left, so that's cool. Not that I, well, maybe I could do a lot with that amount of ink, I don't know. I must admit, tipping up the first bottle was a bit of a moment because I just had to trust the ink wasn't going to go everywhere, but yeah, brilliant. Oh, it's all very exciting. Initialization is complete. Some ink is absorbed into the maintenance box. You may see some black parts on it, but it is normal. Proceed to the print adjustment. So how much ink? Oh, I did use up quite a chunk of ink. Right. Print adjustment. Align the printer to get the best print quality. Adjust recommended. To receive a completion notice, select allow on the next screen. Should have done that as well. Should we do that quick? While the ink is initialising, let's connect the printer to the Wi-Fi. Yes, I've got to put in my password for my Wi-Fi. And is that not the best keyboard you ever saw? I don't have to keep switching between capital letters and small letters because they've literally given me everything. That is pretty cool. Wi-Fi is complete. Smartphone and printer are now connected. Next. Making settings. Next. Server's complete. Printer is ready to use. Next. Continue the work guided by the printer's control panel to check the print quality. Go to the website for more information. Next. Next. Yes, I do. With the software on your computer. Right, do that in a minute. So here, adjust the printer to get the best print quality. Recommended. Perform a print nozzle check to check product. So I can shut this down, can't I? Can I? Print. Load A4 size paper to check nozzle. Load the paper in paper cassette 2 with the printable size. So you do, you pull that out. Paper cassette 2. I'm assuming. Right, paper type. So... I want um, plain paper there and I just press print on here this has come out automatically and the paper is now printing so that pattern's perfect cool how nice to get a nozzle print that actually works or comes out nicely Check the printed pattern and select the closest result, which is that one. Align print position to fix misalignment and banding. Adjust. Perform five types of alignment in order. Load six sheets of A4 size plain paper in cassette two. OK. So now this thing obviously stays out, does it? I'm just getting confused now because this thing's stuck out. But with this staying out, there's no way I'm going to be able to put paper in there. I can't be busy what I'm doing. Why does this not go in? Our ink levels after the initialization are there. So it came down from here to here. So it did use quite a bit of ink, but I've obviously got all of this left. Select the pattern that shows no gap or dark line. Gap, gaps, 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 gaps. They've all got gaps. Select the pattern that shows no gap or dark line. I'm not being funny, but they've all got gaps. There's no one solid dark line, is there? all exactly the same I'll tell you what i don't know if you can see this see that little kink there's a little kink there little kink there 
just right in the center so kink that one's all right i'm gonna go with flipping magnifying glass if that's what we're looking for here i'm gonna go with number five five see to number two. Oh. oh i see select the pattern that shows no gap or dark line on number one right i've got it so that would be five right and that's going to be five as well so now two of ten two of five one so what are we going to have to do here I don't think it's printing another one. So it's printed a second page as well. We've got to choose the square with the fewest streaks. Row one, column one. I'd say I'm going to go number six on that one. I've got my other printer doing something in the background, so apologies for that noise. Three, five, six. Proceed to number two. Well, again, I think that's six. Six. Right, I'm just going to do that for the rest of them and then we'll see what we're doing next. Right, did that and now it's printing print alignment pattern three of five. So, print. So there's the next one. Select the pattern that shows no gap or dark line. So there's one. That's got a kink in it. That's got a kink, kink, kink. Well, I'd say it's number seven. So, proceed. Two, it's got a kink, 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 kink. All got a slight kink. I'm gonna go five. Number five. Print alignment pattern four. And we have to choose the rectangles that are not separated or overlapped. Right. One, two, three looks good, four looks good, five looks good, six looks well. It's got slight separation, so you have to have flipping good eyesight, I tell you that much. So with four, four is already selected, proceed. Print alignment pattern five of five, thank the Lord. Two, no. Three, I can see a line. Four, better. Five, I can see a faint line. So I'm going with number four again. Selected. Proceed. Print alignment complete. You can adjust again from the maintenance. Can I shut this? A new firmware is available. Select dismiss, dismiss to start update. Update info may improve functions. Start the firmware. The update may take several minutes and you cannot cancel it halfway through. Marvellous. Let's just get that done. I agree. I've just downloaded the software onto my computer and it's asking me if I want to do a print a test page. So I'm going to do that. I'll just click on print test page. Printing. Tray comes out all by its little self. Look at that. Very exciting. I'm going to have to take a note of this because you knowing me, I'll knock that quite easily. So there's the test page. Congratulations, you have finished setting up your printer. Well, whoopie do for that. That is marvellous. If I press close on there, and then there's this little button here. So if I press that, the tray goes back in. And all I've got to do is that. I'm going to do my first test print of my prints in a minute, see how that goes. But that is it for setting this printer up. So my thoughts on that were well, filling up the tanks with the ink was incredibly straightforward. I loved that. The print alignment stuff is a bit of a hassle. It's very hard to see the smallest, the narrowest of little lines uh, to see which of them is correct. You then have to, as you saw, select the correct one. That's a bit of a flaff, but as far as the actual printer goes, so far so good. It's um, 
I didn't mention it's much smaller than my old printer and hardly takes up. I mean, you saw my old printer in the background. Sure, you must have done. And look, look at the difference. My old printer filled that whole space pretty much and was quite tall. Really chuffed with it so far. I'm going to do a print now of one of my, my prints and see what that comes out like. Whoa. So that is my print out of the new printer. And I'll tell you what, I am really impressed with it. Look at the margins, for goodness sake. Well, wow, is all I can say. Wow, wow, wow. Let me hold them up. So this is the new printer. And this is the old printer. But it's in a cellophane wrapper, so holding it up for the window isn't best for you. But look, there's really not a lot in it, except this one. The details are that little bit more crisper, for sure. But look, I mean, I had no fluffing, no print splats, no worries with margins. No lines. Oh my God. This could end up being the most expensive, but the most amazing, brilliant, wonderful investment I've made for a while. Because if every print runs, I mean, this is the first time I've printed it and it's just come out fine. I can package this and I can ship this off immediately. Oh my Lordy. I'm going to start asking myself why I didn't buy this printer a long time ago. So, on that basis, the ET8550 on day one, I paid £689 for it, I think it was. Sure it was. And, yeah, like I said, it's a big investment. But if the ink ends up lasting longer than it previously did, and printing becomes a piece of cake like this just was, well, then that is going to be £689, very well spent indeed. So what do I think? Would I recommend it on day one if you're looking for a printer today and it has to be immediate, like, you know, sometimes you do? Well, yes, absolutely. It doesn't take up so much room. It's, uh, well, you can see for yourself, like I showed you, it's hardly taking up any room there. Setting it up was straightforward enough except for the print alignment nonsense setting it up with the computer and everything that was all fine just went through the, the guide all good did the rest on my ipad so yeah set up problem it took a little while don't get me wrong i'm probably been setting it up for a hour and a half two hours i'm really impressed with it just give it a few months now and see what my thoughts are then but as of day one that has been a breeze to print this off i am so 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 chuffed with it so yeah all good what i think in three months time i can't tell you but i will let you know so yeah that's that i've got to package this up now and get this in the post <laughs> with it. i'm so chuffed with it oh it's so nice when you purchase something that costs a small fortune and it actually ends up being good <laughs> i was a little bit nervous i am not gonna lie so yeah all good right i'm gonna go and get on and on that happy note i will see you later all right over and out. Bye.